So when you got involved, uh, to, before we go there, how how exactly? I mean, you got assaulted. Um, you're not getting any real support at home. Right. So, you know, you fall to something. It makes sense that you would. Um, how exactly does a kid coming from the dynamics that you come from? Um, how does he get actually in a gang? Like, mm -hmm. how does a gang come up? Yeah. So the gangs usually will hit you up, right? They roll up on you back in the day. Nowadays, it's not so much, but the dynamic back then was if you look like somebody, if you had Cortez's, for example, or a bald head, or if you just dressed the part, which everybody did, like you, it was fashion. Right. <laughs> And they would just hit you up. Like, where are you from? Do you gangbang? You know, are you from this hood, that hood? Sometimes they just roll up on you and say, F this neighborhood and see if you're from there, right? If you're from there, you'll feel disrespected. You'll say something. The way I got hit up was they pulled up on me when I was walking home again. And um, they pulled the strap on me and they said, where are you from? You know, and I, I froze like, oh, shoot. And I was like, I don't, I don't gangbang. And that's what I said. And they were like, all right, if you don't gangbang, then. This is whatever, whatever. And they were, you know, talking about rep representing their hood. And then after that, they're like, the guy in the shotgun was like, you want to kick it? Like, and I was like, yeah, I'm down, you know? So they pulled, they hopped out, pulled the seat. And then I went in the back and then we started just chopping it up. What's your name? What do they call you? This and this and that, you know, and, and kind of just joking around, but was like, you know. Feeling you out. Yeah, feeling me out. And after that, they were like, okay, he's, he's pretty cool. Like, you know, and. It, it, he t so I went to go meet like the older homies, right? At that time, people who were older, another generation above me. And those guys were actually very respectful. They were like, oh, what's up, man? Took me out to eat. I don't know. I felt loved. I was like, man, that's, that's cool. You know, we ate at that NBC seafood, which all the San Gabriel Valley people know where that's at. It's like a really good Chinese food spot. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, we had it family style, which was like, they just ordered plates and everybody was eating. And I was like, man, this feels like home. You know, and, and I just remember immediately I was attached like that first after that day, I was like, I want to kick it with them every day, every time. And it was just in my mind, like these guys are good people. Like, yeah, they they rolled up on me, but that's part of part of the, the life, you know, and, and they had money. They had, you know, cars, they had guns, they had power. And I, I need that, you know, and that's how that's that's what really attracted me to them. And um, because of that, it I kind of knew my position like, OK, um, these people are talking about, you know, if you fight somebody, you just gotta like, if they disrespect you, just fight them, you know? And I'm like, okay, I could do that. I've been doing that. So it just kind of fell all into my lap. It was perfect for me at the time, you know? It's interesting. You said, uh, their treatment of you felt like home. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's interesting because the home that you described did, didn't sound like that. Right. So when you say it, it felt like home, um, what did, what do you mean? Like what, what point of reference did you have for, um, anything other than what you were going through at home? Like, I think just the love, like, you know, I didn't really feel a lot of love. So I felt like maybe this is what, I guess to rephrase it would be like, this is what it feels like to be loved, you know? Mm. And I, I, I felt that. I was like, whatever this feeling was, like whether it was love or home, I need that. Like I needed this because this right. was that first time I felt something where I was acknowledged, um, I was exalted, I was provided for. You know what I'm saying? And 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 not to Protected. say that they didn't right exactly. I felt accepted for who I was, and I could just be myself. Even when they was cracking jokes, I was like, man, this is cool. I'll crack jokes, and then it was. It was like that flow of exchange, you know, and I I didn't have that. I couldn't express myself to my dad. If I said one thing, it would get cut. So that's why I was always just keeping things short. You know, are you hungry? Yes. What do you want to eat? Food. Like it was just, it, I couldn't exchange. Whereas with them, I was like, what's your, bro, was you scared? Yeah, I was. I didn't go, okay, cool. And then we were able to chop it up and just kind of free flow. With them, I just couldn't. And I think I was just able to open my heart to these people. Whereas with my parents, even though they're my guardians, I I had that limit of like what I can and can't say to these people, you know.